Thanksgiving. Everyone's on a diet now. I uh, hope you had a lot of turkey and gobbled it all up. Um, okay, let's see what's happening. Last tour run of the year coming up after the Thanksgiving holiday. November 30th, KDHX presents at the stage in St. Louis, Missouri. The stage is the name of the place. Then December 1st, the historic Lyric Theater in Harrison, uh, Arkansas. The Historic Lyric Theater, not the Historic Loric Theater. Okay, then December 2nd, uh, the Little Rock Folk Club. And later on, Decem December 9th at the Five Spot. Oh yeah, the Tom Waits a Tribute and Benefit for Second Harvest Food Bank of Middle Tennessee. Uh, I'm working on that. I'm going <clears> to <throat> be ready for that. And then the last show of the year, Friday, December 29th, with the band at Douglas Corner. Uh, ben De La Cour will open. Take a break from the holidays and join us at 8. Doors open at 7. Well, which is it? 7 or 8? These will be answered in the great beyond. and uh, Or they can be answered on davidonly.com. Okay. Posters. Posters, we have posters. We have lots and lots of posters. Uh, that's that poster. That's a, a Mary Sack produced poster uh, for the for St. Louis. And uh, get behind the mule. Before we get this shit. Oh yeah, there he is himself, Tom Waits. I was listening, yeah, was walk, did a long walk today listening to uh, Tom Waits. Uh, oh yeah, look at there. No Depression Magazine. Uh, where do you get these? Online. Barnes online. And Barnes and Noble. Go online. Books no Depression Magazine. Get the one that looks like this. There's an article by me in it. It's a nice article about Tom Van Zandt. So, of Poncho and Lefty. Okay, um, that's that. All right, I got it. I guess because of the Tom Waits thing, I got in my mind that uh, I want to learn songs, and I, you know, I have in the past. When I'm from the batch of people that coming up playing, you learned a bunch of folk songs, you learned a bunch of blues. Songs, you anyway, you learned a bunch of already existing songs, and you tried to figure out a way to make them. Uh, make them your own in some way. And I think now people are just going, learn how to play the guitar and immediately start writing their own songs, which I think is a terrible thing to do. Uh, but anyway, I also think that the it's a skill to be able to get into somebody else's song. And I want my New Year's resolution early is to learn more people's songs and I'll probably end up playing them on this show. And if you have a complaint about it, go to the complaint department. Write in with a threatening uh, uh, an anonymous email or message uh, threatening my life and uh, I'll take action accordingly. Anyway, I don't even know who wrote this song, but uh, Marty Robbins did a version of this when I was a kid. And uh, I just loved it and, and the, here it is. I did this song on High, Wide, and Lonesome, I think. It's either High, Wide, and Lonesome or Real Life. I think it was High, Wide, and Lonesome. Oh, I wanted to do it in this key. I said hello to the man who tried to win your hand a long time ago. I tried to smile as he talked for a while of when it was your boat. But I could see he was ashamed of me as he talked of his wealth and his fame. Ruby Ann took the hand of this poor, poor man and she loved the funny thing. Big man, you got money in your hand, so what? Big 
shot Well, your money can't buy Your power can't hold You can't romance your fame But Ruby Ann took the hand Of this poor, poor man Ain't you love a funny thing But Ruby Ann took the hand Of this poor, poor man Ain't you love a funny thing Oh, yeah But right, uh, I hope there it is. Look at there, it's just by magic. There it is, cut number eight on high, wide, and lonesome. Look at this. Oh yeah, there's some there's some good things in this. You should, uh, you know, go out and buy this. It certainly would help me out. Is that so much to ask? No, I'm go online or whatever. But Ruby Ann, does it say who wrote it? So uh, Tommy Spurlock uh, produced this. Let me find out who wrote this song. Just hold on a second. Just you're not doing anything. Um, but it's Ruby and Lee Emerson, a name that will redound throughout history if anyone remembers it. Okay, that's what I got. Uh, so I'm gonna go practice my Tom White songs. Uh, check out the haircut. Yes, I'm weaker now, uh, and I'll see you next week. You never know, you never know, you never know.